And now, Action 4 Sports with Clay Williams. Pleased to have with us a very special guest on Action 4 Sports today. It is national championship winning college football coach, the current coach of the UT San Antonio Roadrunners. Larry Coker is down in the Valley and joining us live in studio. Coach Coker, thanks for joining us. Why, don't you, why are you down here in the Valley? What, uh, what special event have you got going well, on? Well, it's always great to come to the Valley. It's really a special place. And the big event we have tonight is kind of a welcome and, and kind of a situation where we kind of advertise our program and our schedule. Invite the Valley people to come and see us play. We've got great prizes on season tickets, a great schedule. We just want to really, really cater to the Valley. Well, you've been down here before to right. the Valley. You've seen mm -hmm. the uh, UTSA fans uh, that we have down here. I'm interested now that uh, this, you've got four seasons under your belt, five seasons if you count the one uh, where you weren't playing any games. Coach, where is this program mm -hmm. right now and how do you feel about it? Well, we're building. We've got an awfully tough schedule. We do know that. Uh, probably a little faster than uh, I really thought we would do it. Maybe anybody thought we would do it, but we're a Division One football team. We're in a great league, uh, great competition. Our, our schedule next year is just outstanding. So we're making progress, and uh, you know the train's moving fast, and uh, we just got to jump on board. Let's take a look at what's happened over these last four years. As you can see, like Coach said, it's not many programs who start off as well. Not many programs who can start off with four <laughs> wins in their first year, but then to go to seven and eight in their second two wins, as you can see, 23 and 23 over four years, 16 and 12, a winning record in conference, Coach. I, I, like you said, the train <laughs> going a little faster <laughs> than you thought. Well, it really is. It's just exciting because we're really good football players on our, in our program. Great recruiting in the, in the state of Texas, mm -hmm. certainly where we are in San Antonio, a great city, not a lot of a Division One football, no professional football. So we've got to get a little monopoly there to play in the Alamo Dome, a great place to play. And we just have to do a good job. And then once we get our players, coach them. Yeah, let's take a look at that schedule, as a matter of fact. Let's take a look at the first half of UTSA's schedule coming mm -hmm. up this fall at Arizona versus Kansas State at Oklahoma State. Two pack, you know, two big 12 teams and a pack 10, 12 team mm -hmm. right off the bat, Coach. Well, and they're bowl games, bowl teams. <laughs> yeah. uh, won bowl games last year, and uh, it's going to be a very tough schedule. We just got to play, and, and again, uh, we're going to play every game to win every game. If we don't win that game, hey, let's get ready and win the next one. UTEP and Louisiana Tech there in Conference USA. Mm -hmm. Check out the second half of that schedule, and you see there mm -hmm. it is at Southern Miss, at North Texas, Old Dominion coming to uh, the Alamo Dome mm -hmm. for the first time, at Charlotte, and then two home games at the end. That That's nice to have two at home mm -hmm. in the Alamo Dome. It really is. The Alamo Dome is, is a great place to play. We've had great support in San Antonio for our team and great place to play. We're excited about our schedule next year. You have done well recruiting in the Valley as well, especially when it comes to offensive linemen. Now, Scott Innskeep, mm -hmm. four years with you, one of your very mm -hmm. first recruits right. from McAllen High, just graduated. And of course, the guy we're looking at now, David Anzaldua of Edinburgh North, mm -hmm. uh, just got done with his red shirt freshman year. What is it about Valley offensive linemen that you like so much? Or I guess just well, these two guys in particular? Well, I think you must feed these guys good <laughs> here because they're big, big players. And, and we think good football players. Scott did a great job for stars for us for a number of years. We think David's going to be that type of player. He's a young player. He's got to develop. You know, people don't, don't realize offensive line is, is a really a difficult place to play. It's not just, you know, if you're a wide receiver, you can run fast and catch, hey, go play. But the offensive lineman takes a lot of skill. Definitely does. Now, Coach, let's go over where you're going to be tonight. Uh, you're going to be in Edinburgh at a place called the Social Club. It's going to be put on by mm -hmm. the Rio Grande Valley chapter okay. of the UTSA Alumni Association. It's $15 admission. I think they give you a little break on that if you're already a member of the association. So uh, you're going to have a good time tonight in the Valley, I guess, Coach. You're going to have a great time in the Valley. Again, it's, it's really a pleasure to be here. You've got great people here. It's awesome to come here and really Everywhere I go to sell our program, I really enjoy it. It's a, it's a great program, a great place to, to be, and I think it's uh, future's bright. Future is bright for Coach Larry Coker mm -hmm. and the UTSA Roadrunners. They've already been to Houston, coming down mm -hmm. here, heading up to Dallas in the future, but we welcome him to the Valley. Coach Coker, thanks so much for joining me Appreciate today. Appreciate it. Great to see you tonight. All right. Mm -hmm. We'll see you out there tonight at the Social Club in Edinburgh. That is it for Action 4 Sports at 6. Coming up tonight, we will continue our spring football tour. Until then, Action 4 News at 6 continues right after this.